Good morning, folks. Starting with something I missed, or rather misjudged. I noticed this instability on the southeastern limb yesterday, but did not catch the finale as the northeastern part of the erupting filament shot sideways to include Earth in the impact zone tomorrow night or Saturday. Also, a little bit of rough news, Hyper Report's YouTube channel is down. You can still go see Scott at hyperreport.org. For those with good eyes, time, and a potential interest in the electric universe, perhaps you noticed this little sun diving comet, and I do mean little. To catch these, you need to watch the C2 and C3 very carefully, and while you're at it, notice how CMEs often occur as these take their last ride. This comes via the Environmental Visualization Lab at NOAA. It is the Arctic Temperature Anomaly, but remember not to get fooled into thinking it's just global warming rather than a climate change at both extremes. The Yukon Territory was rocking a bit yesterday, along with the Queens Island region, which saw the 7.7 earlier this fall. Iran also saw the largest quake since the day nearly 500 people died a few months ago in that 6.3. This is Bofa from space. Impressive. Over 300 dead, over 400 missing, and landslides still have some zones cut off. They haven't tallied those at all. I thought the major northern Euro cold was days away, but I was wrong. The clouds did let the cold sweep in behind them and produced a significant amount of snow in Sweden and the surrounding areas. Major severe weather down under as they surveyed the wind damage from earlier. New Zealand got it a little bit worse. Multiple tornadoes dropped, multiple casualties. We do have more expected on the way. Please pay attention to local warnings down there. A couple flights canceled due to rain and about 200 people had to spend an extra night in Hawaii torturous, I'm sure. Let's zoom in about 200 miles west of Wichita. This is the center of a deep extended low yanking warm air north in a polar opposite fashion to yesterday's lows at the coasts and cold air flying down the breadbasket. In fact, the temperature delta shows the exact opposite temperature swings from yesterday. The low in the center is another to have pinched off the North Pacific low and it is still there, stealing moisture from cells halfway across the Pacific, smashing it into colder, drier air. You get things like asinine rain totals in the northwest and a snowstorm in Canada. Please, low, go away. Solar wind density in orange, slightly above normal, but nothing compared to the last few days. Speed in the yellow is dropping as well. There is no disturbance of our magnetic shield. The plasma is insufficient to induce significant resonance and currents and has been unable to penetrate our shields. Primary Earth-facing solar feature is a solar uh, filament eruption off the southern hemisphere here. This is a weak CME and it is very unlikely that it will be significant. I'm very curious about this darker region in the middle. If that grows into a coronal hole, we may need a small quake watch. After the AIA 193 here, I'll leave you with a three-year plot of plant stress. Eyes open. No fear. It's 625 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.